Start up an operation of your new thermoscientific RAT-I SPRD spectroscopic personal radiation detector. To turn on your RAT-I SPRD, push and hold the on button until the RAT-I SPRD beeps and the screen turns on. The RAT-I SPRD will automatically go through a systems check. When learning no longer displays in the top left of the display, the unit is ready for use. The initial display is showing your count dose rate. Many users prefer to operate the unit in cross mode. Your home screen will display your current dose rate instead of the count rate. The four push buttons on the RAT-I SPRD correspond with the arrows you see on the display when navigating through the various menus. The top button on the RAT-I also responds the same as the mute button or the right arrow. There are a number of notifications to familiarize yourself with on the SPRD. Battery level indication, processor activity indicator, temperature, alarm indications disabled, type of radiation displayed, unit of measure, logarithmic scale, alarm threshold 1, alarm threshold 2, dynamic bar graph, unit of bar graph. To navigate through the menu screens, you need to ensure the unit is awake and ready to receive commands. You can tell if the unit is awake by looking for the display to be backlit. If the display is not backlit, pushing any of the buttons on the unit will wake it up and illuminate the display. You are now ready to navigate through the menus. Using the down arrows, you can scroll through a series of different displays. If neutron indication is enabled, the combined gamma and neutron rate meter screen will be available. This is gamma finder mode, showing counts and alarm set points. Using the up arrow, you can scroll through a series of different displays. This is the current gamma dose rate since the unit was last turned on. This is the cumulative dose rate the unit has been exposed to and the time left until your dose limit alarm is exceeded based on current levels. The third screen displays the peak gamma count rate you have received since the unit was last reset. To reset the timer, press the menu button, unit alarming, and radiation classification. The RAT-I SPRD automatically determines the radiation type as either artificial or natural with its unique natural background rejection or NBR capability. When configured as a basic PRD, alarms will be accompanied with either natural or artificial displayed on the screen. The unit constantly adjusts to varying levels of natural background radiation, which minimizes false alarms while maintaining detection sensitivity for artificial radiation. Alternatively, the RAT-I SPRD can be configured for simplified nuclide identification. When the unit alarms, it automatically begins analyzing the radiation to reach a conclusion of industrial, medical, special nuclear material, or natural. This added intelligence ensures a proper procedure and response based on the radiation type. The identification mode of the RAT-I SPRD is administratively controlled with the RAT-I PC software. It can be configured to operate as a basic PRD with excellent sensitivity and no identification capabilities. Alternatively, the RAT-I SPRD can be configured for simplified ID mode or full spectroscopic mode. If the RAT-I SPRD is configured to show all of the spectroscopic details, the down arrow is used to scroll through a number of nuclide detail screens. This screen displays the nuclide that was identified, its class, special material related or SNR, and the confidence in its accuracy on a scale of 1 to 10. This screen displays the spectrum associated with the nuclide identified. This screen displays the details of how it determined the nuclide, which is useful for reachback activity. This screen displays the details on the scan. Audible Finder Mode When the alarm sounds, pressing the mute button once will silence the alarm. Pressing the mute button a second time will put the unit into Audible Finder Mode to help you pinpoint the location of the source.